Secret Fix Revealed Repair Porsche Cayenne 12V Lithium Battery with Zorce Multiprog. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bob G Motors, your trusted source for everything automobile diagnostics, programming, and repair solutions. Before we get into today's exciting topic, let me quickly share a short but important note. This video is made strictly for educational and informational purposes. Everything I explain here, whether it's tools, repair methods, or step-by-step -step demonstrations, is intended to guide technicians, learners, and enthusiasts so they can better understand the world of automobile diagnostics. We respect fair use, and any references to brand names or trademarks belong entirely to their rightful owners. Please remember, always follow the official manufacturer's guidelines and local safety regulations when working on vehicles. Now, let me throw a question your way. Did you know that a Porsche Cayenne, or even its close cousins like the Lamborghini Urus or the Audi Q8, can actually throw a fall code and lock itself in a protection mode, simply because of a critical battery discharge? Have you ever come across the dreaded DDC code P1D6C00, 12E Lithium Battery Diagnostic System Monitoring Fault? Comment below if you already know what triggers this issue and how it can be fixed. Before we dive deeper, I have one small but heartfelt request. Most of you enjoy our videos regularly, but haven't yet subscribed. It only takes a click, but for us, it makes the biggest difference. So let's set ourselves a challenge today. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within the first 24 hours. If you find this guide valuable, smash that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you'd like to support Bob G Motors even further, consider using the super thanks option. Now. Let's roll straight into the step-by-step -step repair guide. When it comes to modern premium vehicles like the Porsche Cayenne, the Lamborghini Urus, and the Audi Q8, the 12V lithium battery is more than just a simple power source. It's an intelligent system with its own battery management system, or BMS. This BMS continuously monitors the health, charge levels, and safety status of the battery. While this is great for protecting the vehicle, it also means that when the battery experiences a critical discharge, the BMS immediately steps in and activates its internal protection mode. And that's exactly when you get hit with the error code P1D6C00. So what are your options at this stage? Essentially, you're left with two possible solutions. First, you could buy a brand new OEM battery from Porsche or Audi. But as most of you already know, these lithium batteries don't come cheap. They're not only expensive, but often require dealer programming, which adds even more cost. The second and much smarter option, especially for technicians and DIY enthusiasts, is to actually repair the existing battery by removing the protection stored in the flash memory of the BMS module. And this is exactly where the Zorce Multiprog Programmer comes into play. Now, let's walk through the full process step by step so that even if you're trying this for the first time, you'll know what to expect. First things first, you need to physically access the battery. In the Porsche Cayenne, you'll find it tucked away at the feet of the front right passenger. This isn't the most convenient location, but with a bit of effort, you can carefully remove it. Once the battery is out, bring it to your workbench for disassembly. Here's where things start to get interesting. The BMS board, the brain of the battery, is hidden under the top cover. Porsche doesn't make this easy because the cover is glued firmly in place. To get to it, you'll first need to remove the side cover, disconnect the two battery terminals, and then gently but firmly pry open the top cover. It takes some patience and careful handling, but once you've removed it, you'll have direct access to the BMS board. Now, with the BMS exposed, it's time to connect the Zorce Multiprog Programmer. For this repair, we're dealing with the Porsche 12V Lithium Battery Module that uses the SPC 5644B on 32E microcontroller. The multi-prog comes with a built-in pinout diagram that makes connecting it straightforward, but precision is key here. You don't want to damage the delicate connections. Once connected, the repair process itself is actually surprisingly simple, thanks to the algorithms built into multi-prog. Here's the step-by-step -step rundown. Read and back up the flash data. This is your safety net. Always make sure you have a copy of the original data before making any changes. Click on Renew and Repair. Multiprog's software automatically processes the data file and corrects the protection flag. 
Write the corrected file back into the BMS. This reprograms the module, effectively removing the lock protection. Charge the battery before reconnecting it. This step is crucial. If you don't pre-charge the battery, the system may immediately re-trigger the protection mode, forcing you to repeat the whole process. And that's it. You've just saved yourself or your customer the cost of an entirely new 12V lithium battery, and you've restored the vehicle to perfect working condition. It's worth noting that while this demonstration is done with the Zorce Multiprog, the repair can also be performed with other capable programmers. However, Multiprog shines here because of its built-in repair algorithms, which make the task much easier and faster. Now, before we wrap this up, I want to take a moment to thank all of our loyal viewers and subscribers. Your support is what keeps Bob G Motors growing and motivates me to keep creating these tutorials. If you're watching right now and haven't yet joined our community, please take a second to subscribe. It's absolutely free for you, but it means the world to me and helps me keep bringing you more real-world automotive solutions. So let's bring today's video full circle. Remember that question from the beginning. Why does the Porsche Cayenne's 12E lithium battery throw the error code P1D6C00? The answer is simple, because after a critical battery discharge, the BMS locks into protection mode to safeguard the system. Personally, I think this is both a blessing and a curse. It protects the vehicle from potential electrical damage, but it also leaves owners stuck with either a hefty bill for a new battery or the challenge of performing a repair like this. From my point of view, tools like the Multiprog really level the playing field, giving technicians the chance to provide cost-effective solutions instead of forcing expensive replacements. But now I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this kind of repair? Do you believe more technicians should embrace programmers like Multiprog, or do you feel it's safer to stick with brand new OEM batteries? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm eager to read your perspectives. And before I sign off, Here's a quick automotive tip you might not know. Many modern vehicles hide their batteries in unusual places for weight distribution and design reasons. That's why it's always worth checking your service manual or a repair guide before assuming the battery is under the hood. In the case of the Kian, you already know it's hiding under the passenger's feet. So let's aim for our challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within the next 24 hours. If this guide helped you, smash that like button leave a comment, share this video with a fellow technician, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to go the extra mile in supporting Bob G Motors, you can always send us a super thanks. It truly helps keep the channel alive. Thanks so much for watching till the very end. Until next time, happy diagnosing and repair.